welcome to the vlog spoiler alert those vines that me and joe put up that you saw clips of him doing on saturday we woke up sunday morning to them on the floor not all of them but a good majority of them um and then we went to my mom's normal bi-weekly want lunch and i was asking her like advice i was like i don't know if i should just return them and she's like oh they sell those like clear command hooks you could try that because they looked really cute but i don't think the like i was looking at the vines they're not gonna like hook because they don't have like if they had like a hole or something to hang i think the joes just were not designed that well so it's like i would have to tape it to the hook and i don't know i just decided to ixnay it and we are just gonna return them so we just bundled them all up it was unfortunate because i know it was a lot of work for joe but and then we started thinking about it too it might have been the cats like i don't know if the cats are playing with it at night there's a lot of things i can't do because of the dang cats so i was like all right we're just gonna return it so um me and joe took well i took monday off he already had the monday off so he is a driver for his company and every last monday of february every year they do like an inventory day and they don't need the drivers because they don't do any delivery only the like factory workers go in so all the drivers have the day off so i took it off because i would have gone back to work today after my vacation and it's always an adjustment going back to work after a vacation so i thought this might make it a little easier because now it'll be a four-day work week which is nice so and me and joe busted our butts this weekend like we hung up blinds we finished up our gallery wall in the bedroom we um cleaned we still have some cleaning to do when we get back but we did a lot so i figured today it would be nice since i took the day off and we're both off if we went like out together today so we left the house we're gonna do that amazon return and we are going to check out a new coffee shop near us that just opened today's literally the grand opening and it's kind of a cool concept because it's coffee shop during the day I think they're open 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is awesome. And then they reopen at 6 p.m. and become a nighttime lounge, a martini bar, from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. on the weekends. I think it's like till 11 p.m. during the week. Um, they are. They have a location. They had another location in a different city, like a half hour away from us, that was only coffee, and they blew up overnight. People were obsessed with them, and now they just opened the second location. I love seeing small businesses thrive, and I think it's going to be really cool to have in our area. So me and Joel are going to check out the lunch menu today and the coffee shop. But I would love to go back one day for the lounge. There's like beautiful leather couches. It looks gorgeous in there. They actually took over a bank so joe i actually did you see the article i shared this morning about it mm. on facebook so they actually kept one of the bank vaults as is and it's like a vip lounge inside of a bank vault like isn't that cool that is cool yeah it, it's like 15 people but anyway we're stopping to get gas now i will definitely show you guys the inside of the coffee shop and we're probably gonna go back home and clean how exciting but adult life <music> A local grocery store it's actually the one i used to work at for eight years that i loved so much I'm on an errand down the street so i told him so if you want to just drop me off there's some meats on sale i want i said and i'll just hang out and talk to the old crew it's been a while so that's exactly what i did and i called him and he didn't answer so he must um still be running his errand so i decided take a walk down memory lane literally i am walking to my mom's house so my mom lives down the street from this grocery store which was perfect for me when i lived at my mom's because i didn't drive i didn't get my license i was 26 
and I worked at the grocery store for eight years while I got my college degree and got up the nerve to finally get my driver's license. And I feel so weird right now. I literally used to do this walk every single day for eight years. Like I'm getting so many flashbacks. And here's Joe driving up as we speak. Alrighty y'all, I'm coming in on ya. Tuesday morning, 6.30 a.m. Looking like this. One of the pieces did come out while I was sleeping, but it looks pretty good. I'm trying a new foam roller set. Um, nothing was wrong with the other one. I just, when I cleaned my house this week, because I was off on vacation last week. Um, I don't know why I said this week. I meant last week. I went through, like, my vanity and my desk, and I found these. You'll never believe where I got these, guys. Dollar Tree. I think it came with, like, eight rolls, so I ended up buying two packages um, so one is blue and one is in pink. The two in my head stayed up really well. The rest of the ones that are kind of loose. But let's unroll these and see how I look. I'm a little anxious about today, but not too bad. I have, a, I do have a meeting that I'm running um, at 2 o'clock. And that's one thing I hate that has to be at the end of the day. Because normally I like having it done like in the morning and getting it over with. But... <laughs> I don't have any free time now until last period because my free my my preps that's what they call it like first to prep lessons and do what we have to do as teachers were period three and period six but period three I teach now since I picked up a class so I no longer have that one free I literally work the entire day straight up till two o'clock which I know like most people don't have preps and most people work throughout the whole entire day. It's just, you know, I gotta tell you guys all the time, as a teacher, it is kind of, it's kind of tough not having that time to yourself because when you're a teacher, especially like I said, I don't know, gen ed could be different, I'm special ed, but you literally have to be like turned on 24-7. You have to have high energy to like engage the kids and stuff. So sometimes by two o'clock, I'm, I'm a little drained. I mean, I got my lunch break, of course. Um, but it's only, you know, like 25 minutes or half the time, by the time I get to my class and do what I got to do, I'm like scarfing down food and the kids are already coming in. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm kind of, I don't know. Like part of me is like happy to be back to where I can get back on my routine. The other part of me is like, Oh, why is vacation over? I feel like it's always like that. At least I have a four day work week because I gave myself the Monday off. So it should make adjusting to the week. A little easier Joe has no idea where he is today I gotta text him um, normally they tell him where he's gonna be the day before but he had yesterday off and he had Friday off so he hasn't been at work since Thursday so he has no idea he could be a driver today he could be an assistant because he started as an assistant he just started driving recently like the last few months oh that's actually him All right, so that is the hair. I'm not obsessed with it, but you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna rock it. I'm curious to see how it wears because you guys know I was using those little pink plastic pieces and my hair would come out good. But then like three hours into my shift, I would notice it was falling. So maybe with this one, if it falls a little bit, it'll end up looking better. And then oh, part of me just like, should I at least like, clip half of it back just so it looks a little less poodly but i think we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it we're just gonna go with it i'm gonna go get ready if you guys want to i did plan my outfit last night trying to get back into that zone again so check out the outfits of the week which is on saturdays so you guys want to see what i wore today i completely spaced to grab my phone it is the same day and my hair is still holding out pretty well. Um, it's Tuesday. And I decided to get food from the restaurant at the school. I treat myself like once, twice a month the max. It is the second to last day of the month. And I've only had the restaurant food once. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it one more time for the month of February. I definitely couldn't do this every day. And I know there's teachers that want it every day, which is like totally fine. I'm not judging. I just like... I wonder how they afford life sometimes. It's getting so expensive. I will say that, you know, the food from the restaurant, because it's student-run, is a lot cheaper. 
I got a meatball sub. I was feeling courageous with my white shirt on, but I finished it. I got, I did get the tiniest spot like right here, but that is it for me. That is a blessing. And uh, uh, now I'm gonna have my dessert. Guys, it looks so good. I wanted to show it to you guys. It's peanut butter and jelly pie. Oh, they must have added it to like the cream cheese mixture. I don't know, but it smells so good. Um, they've been selling out of it. They were saying that it had high praise. This was a little on the expensive side. It was $3 a slice. And um, the teacher was like, we could honestly charge more. Maybe we've had better presentation. I don't know. It's kind of looking not too pretty up in here. But my meatball sub with potato chips was only 8 bucks. So that's definitely a good deal. My first bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, you can definitely taste the peanut butter. Mm, so good. All right, guys, it is almost seven o'clock, and your girl has to get going. It is Wednesday. I was on the struggle bus this morning because I went to bed late because my final paper was due today. So I didn't get to bed till like 11 ish, probably didn't fall asleep till like midnight. And I usually try to be in bed before 10 on work days. Like, I don't see crawling to bed usually around eight, but you know, I try to be like, sleeping by like 9 nine thirty, you know and that definitely did not happen yesterday i'm hoping it happens today um i literally it's gonna be a busy day and i've kind of been uh, sort of looking for dreading it i guess i don't know not dread but i have work and then we have our faculty meeting after work and it's one wednesday a month and that wednesday just sucks because i just feel so rushed because the meeting ends at 4 and then I literally got to come straight home and hop on Zoom because my class starts at 4.30. So I'm just like cutting it close and rushing around all day. Um, and then I have class. I'm hoping because it's the final class and all our assignments are in and stuff that um, it's like a shorter class and she just lets, a, lets us go because I'm tired. <laughs> I am definitely, gonna, like as soon as class ends, I'm literally just going to like eat, shower and go to bed. Um, it's always an adjustment when I go back to work after a long vacation. I'm glad I gave myself a four-day work week. That's kind of why I did it. <sighs> um, also, I had the extra day with Joe, and I knew my class was wrapping up, and I knew I had a lot going on. Um, the curls yesterday were, like, kind of extra crazy. I wasn't sure how I felt about them, but you guys saw I rocked them. I said, I'm just going to wear it, and I got so many compliments at work. So, even students, and the students don't usually notice things like that. But one of my students was like, Miss Miss Ari, your hair looks so good. I was like, oh, thanks. I definitely prefer it today. I like when it's not as, like, poof. So, I am loving this. So, I will definitely do this again. Um, and if I put them away, they're still here on the bathroom sink. I'm going to go throw a little oil on my hair, throw on an outfit, and hit the road. Outfit might not be as cute today because I don't got as much time. Oh, Joe, I had a shirt for me. So, actually, I can throw on that shirt. And I have new, like, cargo pants I want to wear from Old Navy. So, we good. We good. All right. Time to go. Hey, guys. It's been a while since I've been on camera. So, you guys saw on Tuesday I treated myself to food from the restaurant at the school. And it was a meatball sub with a peanut butter and jelly pie. And I got home and I had a really bad stomach ache. And I even told Joe, I said, I wonder if the food from the school restaurant just hit me wrong. I don't know, the meat pole sub just wasn't hitting it for me. The the peanut butter jelly pie, no complaint. It was delicious. But I don't know, something about the meatball sub. And I usually love the food from the school. So, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling good. And I literally went to bed early. And then you guys saw a clip of me Wednesday morning. Just, like, getting ready, fixing up my hair and stuff. And it all took a turn for the worse there. <laughs> I ran a little late. You guys saw that. And then I got outside. It was 7.20 and usually at 7.20 I'm already at the school and I was getting into my car and it was freezing cold that day. The weather jumps around here like crazy. It'll be like 21 day, 50 another day and that day the temperature just dropped. It was below 20. My car doors were frozen. I had to pull with all my might. I scraped the ice off my window. I get in. I start the car but my gear shift or whatever you call that thing, the thing that goes to park, reverse, neutral, all that. I don't know nothing about cars, so whatever. Laugh at me if you want to. It would not go into drive. I tried with all my might and it would not go. 
so i was like i don't know if it's because it's frozen or what's going on I text my brother because he's my mechanic and i had to call my friend sarah she's a paraprofessional so thank god i had her and she lives next to me i called her i asked her to come get me so i walked into the building at 7 45 it's still right on time um she's like yeah i actually just left my house i'll be there in two minutes i jumped in her car i got to work i should have took the car not starting as me assigned to stay home but I didn't and I spent TMI but I spent majority of my lunch break in the bathroom I never ended up eating my lunch I just did not feel good and my period five could tell and they had several students out with a stomach bug CDC actually issued a warning that it was like rampant here in Massachusetts um, we had a lot of kids out of school this week. It was crazy. And, well, last week, I should say. That week, but oh, I'm filming this later in the future. Um, so they were like, ooh, you think you might have the stomach bug? And I said, I might. And I got home, and I, I used the bathroom again. I showered. I got ready for my college class. Thankfully, because it was the last class, she let us out early. We got in at 4.30. We were out. We were off by 5.15. No word of a lie, guys. I literally crawled into bed, watched some episodes of Love is Blind, and knocked out by 8 p.m. The next day, I woke up, and I was pushing myself to go to work because I was like, you know, it sucks, but you go to the bathroom as often as you want you have a bathroom in your classroom you know you just had a week off because i had just come back from vacation i had took the monday off i hate calling out so i pushed myself to go to work thankfully my car did go into drive so my brother had said it could have been because it was cold but he does want to look at my gear shift he actually hasn't had a chance um i see him on sunday so he'll probably do it then but yeah so all of thursday it was bathroom work bathroom work home bathroom shower go to bed early routine friday i finally woke up feeling like a normal person the only good thing is this stomach bug seems what everyone's been saying is it's between 24 to 72 hours within one to three days people feel back to normal and i did wake up friday feeling so much better um so i got through work me and joe had a nice dinner because i ate nothing the previous two days basically and we went to five guy and it was delicious but even though i was feeling better and i wasn't going to the bathroom anymore i was very run down which makes sense when you have the stomach virus you're basically very dehydrated because everything you're taking in is leaving your body um so i was very run down on saturday so me and joe never left the house and we literally did not do anything so this is basically the end of the vlog i will include the five below clip and that is it <laughs> um i feel a lot better now i know i didn't even post my video on friday i posted on the community um on thursday i posted on the community tab i said i'm so sorry guys i got the stomach bug wendy's like well i can't believe you're sick again and i think that is definitely part of life when you work at a public school my school is huge we have 2500 students and we have about 400 staff so that building has upwards to almost 3,000 bodies in that classroom. And like I said, I had just last week, I had two students leave early, one with 102 fever, one because they were puking. Um, I had two students that were out the entire week. It's It was a rough time. I don't know what is going on in the air, but it's definitely going. And unfortunately, now Joe is sick. So he's in bed, not feeling well at all. Um, he took care of me and now he got sick, poor thing. So oh, wish him well. And that is the end of the vlog, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't much this week. I'm sorry I keep getting sick. <laughs> I wish I could stop getting sick. I need to build up my immune system or something. I don't know. Drink some, take some vitamin C every day. Drink some emergency. I don't know. But I'm glad it was a short-lived one and I'm basically back to normal. Hopefully it is short-lived for Joe as well. Today is, I would guess, day two for him. He, it's like weird because with the stomach bug, I swear you're worse like the second day. He was complaining about like stomach aches yesterday and I even said, oh my God, I hope you don't have it. And then boom, today he woke up, he puked. He's been using the bathroom all day. He's been sleeping most of the day. 
Um, he, he left work early. He actually did go into work, but he did leave early. And he says he plans on going in tomorrow. So I hope he does well. Wish him well. I'll let you guys know. Watch the vlog next week. Um, check out for the little five guy clip. Five guys probably one of my favorite more, like, it's not considered fast food, but it's also like not a restaurant. So I guess it's like a good in between. I don't know, but it's like one of, especially it's like a lot cheaper. It's still definitely more expensive. I don't know. The way McDonald's is getting, I'd rather go to Five Guy. I feel like me and Joe go to McDonald's, boom, over 20 bucks, 30 bucks for the two of us. Five Guy's like 40. I'll take that. I'd rather pay 40 for their burgers and we get good, we got french fries and drinks. I think we got a shake. It was delicious. I'm thinking about it right now and it sounds so good. <laughs> Anyway, um, it's what I needed after a, a, a few days of not eating. But yeah, show, send Joe your good wishes. Um, let me know what your favorite like food is down below. A, big, a juicy burger is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, oh, good. It's, it's bedtime for me. Be safe, guys. You made a whole burger already? I probably wolfed it down. Oh, <laughs>